Hi, it's Kristen Tollefson, the Director of Education at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action, Bema from Home. Today we're going to spend time looking at things that are within arm's reach, things that might be close to us, things that we might see every day, and things that we might not take time to look at deeply and learn about and reflect upon. I've been spending a lot of time working at my desk, which is very close to a chair that was given to me by my grandmother and a plant that I have been taking care of for a friend. These are two things that I see every day and I don't really think a lot about them on a regular basis. This seemed like a great opportunity to observe things that are really woven into my daily life and to the point of not even paying a lot of attention to them, to learn more about what attracts me to them, maybe things that I hadn't noticed before, details, parts of inspiration, stories. When I look at the chair in particular, I am struck by the pattern and the colors and the texture. The flowers and the leaves are embroidered onto the surface of the upholstery and they're velvet to the touch. They're very soft. There are places where the seat has been worn from sitting on, places where the embroidery has faded over time because the chair's been next to a window, and the armrests, the wooden armrests on the chair show signs of where, where hands have pushed up or relaxed. The connection between the embroidery and the fern next to it is also striking to me. These viney leaf shapes, these repeated patterns, the colors, they're all things that are attractive to me in what I look at in the world and also in ways that I think about making artwork. The chair also is home to a pillow that I added to it later on and the pattern on the pillow takes something from both the pattern in the upholstery on the chair and the leaves of the fern. There is again a repetition of pattern there's a tendril quality, uh, a linear quality, and um, almost like a high contrast shadow is created. These things are not on accident. They are things that I have chosen to be in my space, and I see how they reflect back on other things I do and make. I was surprised at how that simple exercise of looking deeply at things within my surroundings really reminded me that creativity and inspiration are always available to me. We'd love to see what you're doing within arm's reach. What are you looking at? What are you making? Tell us a little bit in the comments. And until next time, that's Art in Action.